Hello, my name's Frederick, or Freddy, Fred, whatever you want to call me. Right now, today, I've been pissed off. I know somebody, I'm not just going to blast his name, because that would be disrespectful, which I'm not like. One, he said, bad parenting and good parents. Like, some people can be good parents. This other person who is a good parent that I know personally, you know, takes care of her daughter, does what she's supposed to, does everything on her own, basically. And does it with a medical condition. I'm only there to help her. And, you know, he's seeing that person all because she stayed in an opinion. Was a bad parent. Took, turned her back on him. Did all this, you know. But here's the thing. If you don't have kids, don't judge us parents. And I won't judge any parent even though I got kids. We all have our own parenting. We all have ways of doing things. And, you know, I decided to... He wants to say that, good parent, bad parent crap. Well, guess what? You got no kids. So why are you going to say this person's bad, this person's good, and whatnot? Don't say good parenting unless you have kids and can parent them. Trust me, every kid is different. I know from experience. I, I have one kid that takes me as her own father. I got four kids with an ex of mine that takes me as their father. That's five right there. My three own, my own three kids that I love with my heart and everything. I'll do anything for all of them. And I had four kids that are in heaven, documented by a doctor, by the mother of the four that take me as their own. And I want to say, you know, you think good parent, bad parent. Who is truly a good parent and who truly the bad parent can't really judge because there's a lot of parents out there that, what, do drugs, I'll admit, marijuana, any type. A lot of parents out there do alcohol and whatnot or people like me and a lot of you that grew up with parents that were alcoholics, parents that were doing drugs. Parents that were never home all the time or were working on the road, like work, my father, his father, my grandfather, worked through Greyhound on the road, 36 years. Died in 1985, rest, and I have his name, you know, rest in peace to my grandfather for that. And he was a military vet through the U.S. Navy. So, you know, I thank him and all the vets for our service because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to parent. I wouldn't be here today. So, you know, and there's a lot of parents out there that are still having trouble. I admit, I had trouble, you know, and whatnot. Hold on, guys. I had a message come in. But, you know, then you want to say what friends versus family. Well, here's my objective to friends versus family. I feel that you know one my friends were the first ones to turn their back on me majorly doesn't matter family friends i'm gonna tell you my fault i meant family are the first ones to turn my back on me i've had it multiple times my best friend 100 percent best friend considers me his little brother and i'm going to call him out so when he goes to see this, he can be happy about it because it makes him happy. My friend, Stephen Cobb, okay, which I will, I have to get to him soon to set up a new YouTube channel for him. But he gave, he never turned his back on me. He gave me 100%. And I'm going to tell you, you want to say what friends and family? I'll tell you right now. I'll state my opinion. I don't give a fuck what you think. I don't care what people want. My opinion only matters to me. So, if you got an issue, you know, you called me your brother at one time. Me. But you want to say that you got family, you don't got friends. I'll tell you right now, Stephen is one of my bestest friends here in Beamington, New York. I have a lot of friends all over the country. I am a type two, I mean, sorry, type one diabetic. Have been now as of today for, I mean, January 5th, 
uh, June 5th, my fault, June 5th, 18 years. And as of yesterday, June 4th, this person that you're looking at has been sober three weeks. That's right, three. After drinking since I was 17, doing drugs since I was 17, hill, you know, the whole nine yards. And no, I didn't do any hard drugs. What? Some people have. I'm not putting nobody down, but I'm bashing that idiot. He wants to say that his friends would not turn would turn their back on him. Or the family won't. I'm sorry, my family turned their back on me many times. But I look at it as my best friend, is still my brother, never turned his back on me since 2007, since we met. That's 11 years. Got me everything I needed. Supported me through when I went through prison twice. Yep, twice. You know, did my prison bid. Always around helping me, calling me, checking up on me. Think about that. But this guy called me his brother. Said that you don't turn your back on family. Well, you turned your back on me. You turned your back on a real close person to me. You, you that was close to you. You want to turn your back on that person. Go chatting with their ex. And, you know, I found out that you wanted, it seems like you're wanting, what is it? Multiple girls in every state? You know, the whole nine yards? Like, you can't be faithful to one girl? And while you're dating one, you want to do something with another, or you want to be with that other one, but you won't break up with the one? You know, typical crap. I'm going to be starting to, you know, upload more vi videos. I'm going to start putting it out there. You want to keep running your mouth. Or I'm going to start posting random shit. Because of the fact that a lot of videos are getting to me. I do what I can as a father. And whatnot. I do what I can as a person. Here in Beamington, New York. I do what I can. I tell you right now. I'm one of the most royal, well, actually my fault, loyal friends you'll ever meet. I'm sorry, I'm just talking too fast, but this guy really pissed me off. So do me a favor. If you know someone like this or you want a video of someone that I can brag on who has an issue with something, feel free to leave the situation in the comments. Hit me up on Facebook, but make sure you tell me who you are because I won't add you unless you... Or subscribe to my channel or something you know you tell me you've seen the video um i'm real picky on who's on my page it is fred a weber that's f-r-e-d space capital a space weber w-e-b-e-r so if you're going to add me message me make sure you know add me on messenger look i seen you on youtube and i you know you want to connect i am a diabetic so i connect to a lot of people with medical issues which my one close person I've been talking about, she's got a condition called fibromyalgia. Very hard to deal with. I've seen her at her best, I've seen her at her worst, and everything. I'm a diabetic, type one. You know, I've been around a lot of type twos, type ones, people with any type of medical condition, I don't care what it is. You wanna connect and have someone to talk to, you got me. So, feel free to send people my way, subscribe. To my channel, Frederick Weber. Um, you know, when you get a chance, leave a comment, do something, you know, whatever. I feel like a lot of people need people to talk to out there. I will, I'm there for anybody. And, you know, I'm 30, almost 32 years old. So, I know, I understand, I've been through a lot. Uncle committed suicide in 2010. Drugs, alcohol, you know, I've been through the substance abuse and everything. I'm learning how to be a new person on carb eating and stuff. So, you know, if you need someone there, you got somebody. Just reach out and say, hey, Freddie, can I talk? This is what I'm going through. And I'll even put a video up and call you out that you need help. You got me. If you want a video, I'll do a video for you. I'll make a shout out. So later on, whenever, please subscribe or leave a comment. I'm going to head out for a site. I'm going to do a video later. Thanks. Bye, guys.